Will he add to his total of four goals from his last three? This is EA TV. Hello to you, wherever you happen to be. Our action comes to you today from Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And we've got what we hope will be exciting league action coming up for you. It's Aston Villa taking on Manchester United. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Well, as you can see, he gets everything right here. What a skillful volley that is. One nil then. Bruno Fernandes has it. Harry Maguire now. And the pass deftly cut out. Bailey. Teammate and support. That was going in. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Possession lost by Villa. Plenty of support here. Will it be? Oh, did so well to deny him. Well, no escape, not an immediate yellow card, but the referee deals with him now. And he's fired over the corner. Well, he took care of it defensively. Nicely saved. Growing pressure here, and another corner. Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Two nil now and back on the way. Marcus Rashford. Running room galore for United. And a confident clearance. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Good use of advantage there. He does have pressure to deal with. Oh, might be. Oh, denied by the post. Well, no damage done. And continues his run. Brilliant save. Oh, this is looking promising. Can they put it away? Well, threat averted. Sliding in and winning the ball. Villa recovering possession well. Consa. And with the advantage, no reason why you shouldn't play keep ball. Crossing possibilities. Douglas Luiz. Are showing good defensive judgment.
Juan Bisaka. Rashford. And that is offside. Matty Cash. Ollie Watkins. Bailey. Diaby. Now breaking at pace. Potential danger. Just cutting off the supply. It needs an accurate cross. And the keeper there to catch it under no real pressure. Diaby had to come up with the ball and did. Bruno Fernandes has it. Bubakar Kamara. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Bailey. Textbook defending inside the box. Bruno Fernandes has it. Well, the referee had to stop play, and he's doing that now so the player can receive treatment. Now back underway with a drop ball. And he's hit it with authority! Well, it wasn't quite as dangerous as I thought it might be. Almost at half-time, and they're making home advantage count, I think it's fair to say. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, they've played some really good football up to now. In particular, the way they've got it into their front players has been excellent. I've also liked the movement of the strikers. They just now need to take this forward into the second half. I think you've got to conclude that was good refereeing. A free kick in the end after initially playing advantage, but it just wasn't there. And in the perfect position to read it. Anthony. Manchester United keep the ball. Advantage. Well, not the best clearance. Can he finish? Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Corner kick played in. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And there it is. The half-time whistle is sounded. So into the second half, and no doubt about it, United really need to lift themselves. Excellent block. And danger still. Well, nothing comes of it. Nicolo Zaniolo. Well, it was a chance for them to get back into this one, but they were denied by a great piece of goalkeeping, you have to say. Will it be? And it's a penalty. The referee points to the spot. And it's going from bad to worse. Well, no card handed out, but quite a few upset players out there, Stuart. Well, he's made a genuine attempt to play the ball, so penalty yes, yellow card no. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. An opportunity for 3-0. And he puts it away confidently. Well, here it is again. Great composure to send the keeper the wrong way before striking it into the opposite side. That's an excellent penalty. Aston Villa 
three goals without reply. And support available. High pressing and good high pressing. Douglas Luiz. Well, nothing productive, really. He's compelled to kick it clear. Can he finish this? And begging to be put away. In it goes! And I'll tell you what, the goalkeeper is wishing, quite simply, he hadn't done that. Well, just look at this again. What was he thinking? Too slow, too ponderous, and it's cost them a goal here. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Esri Konsa. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Beautiful pass. Really well positioned. Camara. Brilliantly blocked. He's driven in the corner. An alert reaction to tip it over. Well, another corner. Can they take advantage of this one? Clearance wasn't decisive. Esri Consa. Alex Moreno. Now, who can he play it to? Douglas Luiz. And there the move ends for now. It's with Diallo. And he was in the right place to intercept. Might really be able to trouble them here. And dealt with that ball comfortably. That's effective pressure, high up the pitch. Well, he was being pressed, but did his job. And a throw in here for United. Well, good effective pressure. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Well, as the stats show us, Aston Villa have had most of the play and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. It needs an accurate cross. Now, this could really lift spirits. Well, opportunity missed just when we wondered if things were going to change for them. Well, this should have been a goal, and boy, do they need it. That's a high-quality pass. Takes the shot. Capable of so much better from that position. Really good, strong tackle, and it'll be a throw-in. It might be a favourable situation, this, for Manchester United. Vital intervention. Diaby. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Really annoying for them. Couldn't take advantage.
Well, let's see if something comes of this. Gives it a go. And a goal to settle the issue once and for all. Well, here it is again. What a ball that is over the top of the defence. It's weighted perfectly, and then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Potentially freedom for United on the flank. Can they cover up? And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Perfect tackle. Douglas Luiz. And struggling to get the shot off. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have three extra minutes. A lovely attempt, and cleared off the line. Can't miss. He had to score, and he does. Well, here's the replay, and it's a simple finish in the end. But where was the defending? That's just not good enough. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Nicolo Zaniolo. The referee's whistle for full time, and here's the big story. No points at all for... ...today, both as individuals...